Hello, Dr. Kim. Hello. We are here now to talk more about the herb with name fenugreek. You oh, fenugreek. Fenugreek, yes. Yes. Fenugreek is a popular herb in Ayurveda. Fenugreek is called Mithika or Mithi. Mithika. Mithika or Mithi. It is a very small plant mm -hmm. and it is a green plant. It's full of green leaves and uh, we even make the vegetable in India. We make the vegetable from the leaves. The leaves are very rich in natural antioxidants, very rich in uh, vitamins. So you use it for salads? We use it for cooking oh. the leaves. It is growing in my home. Okay. So I, we use it regularly. Mm -hmm. We mix it in flour, we mix it in, make it in dishes of fenugreek leaves. So it is very good as a nutrition improving profile, nutrition profile of mm -hmm. fenugreek. But in medicine we are using the seeds. Mm -hmm. The seeds uh, are made into extract, which I am using as a medicine to, to make it more stronger. I am using the uh, standardized extracts. Mm -hmm. So it is very good for the uh, vata problems. In vata there is uh, the body pains, body aches, fibromyalgia, lethargy, when somebody is feeling low and feverish and down. So we use it along with curcumin. Mm -hmm. Or even alone it is good. Mm -hmm. So when that, especially when the people in diabetes they have the pain in the in the lower legs, mm -hmm. in the back. So I use in diabetes also due weakness due to diabetes because mm -hmm. diabetes is a vata disorder. So in vata problems, in pains and aches and body uh, aches, I'm using it. And uh, even in uh, female health problems, in especially in cyst. Whenever there are cyst, there are kapha problems. So there are blockages in the ovarian system, the reproductive system. So I am using in the, the cyst. They uh, break down the cyst, they shrink the cyst, and they reduce the amount of fluid in the cyst. So they are very good for the ovarian cyst. Mm -hmm. And in ovarian cyst, one should uh, uh, avoid all the cold food. Mm -hmm. The ovarian cyst, they happen because some people, uh, women especially, they are consuming cold, from refrigerator. They should mm -hmm. not take the cold food, they should eat the hot food. Especially uh, for ovarian mm -hmm. cysts you can combine it with the alo aloe vera. Mm -hmm. Aloe vera uh, extract I am using. Mm -hmm. so aloe vera is very good for expelling the fluid from the cyst and breaking the cyst mm -hmm. and clearing the reproductive system of the female. Mm -hmm. And I am also using with the shatavari. Mm -hmm. Shatavari is asparagus racemosus, mm -hmm. the root of that is I am using. So it is giving strength to the female. So giving the strength, taking out the fluid from the uh, ovarian cyst with the help of uh, that aloe, aloe vera mm -hmm. and fenugreek to shrink the shrink this cyst. Mm -hmm. And not to eat cold meals. Not to eat cold. What about cold water, for example? Cold water should also be avoided, especially in cyst. And also yogurt should be avoided. Milk products should be avoided uh -huh. in ovarian cyst. I have so many cases which are solved of a various cyst and even endometriomas. Whenever there is endometriosis, there is severe pain. Mm -hmm. So I'm using this fenugreek with uh, curcuma and boswellia. Mm -hmm. So curcumin, boswellia, and this uh, even ginger I'm using, mm -hmm. and this fenugreek. It's mm -hmm. giving good in endometriosis. In endometriosis. And uh, in diabetes, I have a very uh, good uh, case study I would like to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. There was a patient, he was uh, just a small child, he was diagnosed with insulin, uh, this diabetes, and the doctor told that you should have insulin every day, two, three times a day. Mm -hmm. And the parents were very upset, and I just told the parents, just soak the, uh, these uh, seeds of uh, this fenugreek and give every day, morning and evening. And just take care of your diet, give more fruits and salads, avoid rice, avoid packaged food, and within 15-20 days, the kid was free from insulin. So it is so powerful. And I also gave karela. Karela is some Indian fruit, mm -hmm. Indian vegetable, in fact, people use in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So that kid is still my, uh, the parents, they come to me and they are very happy with the results of this fenugreek. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I told you, in uh, calf myalgia or fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. When there is painful uh, lower legs, especially due to diabetes, 
-hmm. and people feel weak and tired and they don't want to work. In that case also fenugreek is very good. Mm -hmm. So I'm using in diabetes, I'm using in ovarian cyst, I'm using in weakness and painful mm -hmm. uh, body symptoms, body aches mm -hmm. and neck pains and body pains. Mm -hmm. And in Europe, for example, it's quite known this herb uh, that it increases the level of milk in breastfeeding women. Yes, so even in Ayurveda, it is mentioned. Mm -hmm. In Ayurveda, it is mentioned that it is uh, good for women who want to even increase their breast size. They can use fenugreek. Breast size. Yes. Really? <laughs> okay. And also good for the women who want to feed their children to increase the milk production. In the female. So then it could be also uh, combined with another herb that's good for it, that's Shatavari? Shatavari it itself is very good for uh, the whole body of the female. Not only for milk production, but also for the bones. <laughs> <laughs> production of the milk, but also for the bones, for the female reproductive organs, for the strength of the female uh, body. So Shatavari can be combined with this, this herb called fenugreek.